So I'm commentating on the dressage for FEI TV. I'm also doing some of the announcing for the World Equestrian Games. Um, so I, I see this from two different angles. On TV, I'm working with an audience who aren't here. So they're that second screen experience. Um, and it's really nice to see people engaging from elsewhere and it gives them another reason to watch and participate and stay with the broadcast longer. Um, and then when we're announcing, you can see, as we were talking with Murray about, how many people are participating. And, you know, to see can we beat the record of Falstabo, get more than 1,500 people maybe participating one day here during the World Games. Um, and, you know, it's fun, fun for us to see. And sometimes if you have enough time, you maybe throw in a little mark yourself from the judges' box. Um, we try to be really accurate when we do that. Um, but uh, it's, it's nice to, to have a system that allows fans whether they're here or not, to be part of the action. This is my third World Games. Um, so you see it developing over those eight years and in comparison to other championships as well. Um, I think it's really interesting that a company like SAP wants to use their technology to engage fans, not just about uh, timekeeping and scoring maybe, which is so critical to the sport, but to improve the sport by getting more people involved and more people engaged. Um, and, and fan engagement is something that we've seen really change and revolutionize other sports, so it's exciting that we now have a partner who wants to help us do that for for our sport. You can see all the um, events that we'll have, all the competitions that we'll have. So currently the Grand Prix is on, the dressage, and for the very first time today uh, we'll do raining as well. It is a lot of fun. I'm happy that we can expand into so many different disciplines now in the equestrian sport. We have to wait until four o'clock now to know if you are right on, exactly. on that Dutch rainer score. But exactly we can get out of the rain and go raining. What's your involvement in this sport? Cheering for my favorite teams and my favorite riders, seeing all the horses stop and spin um, and do all their sliding stops. So right now I'm just a spectator, but I love going to watch it. So I'm Brian Lookabill. I live in Lexington, Kentucky, which was obviously home of the 2010 uh, World Equestrian Games. I'm actually an announcer in several disciplines. I actually started out in the show jumping sport. Um, I think the spectator judging app is a fantastic way to do several things to engage the audience. I think it makes me feel more involved with the sport, even just as a spectator and not with the actual horses. Also, uh, to sort of, without really going through an aggressive method of training people on how to judge a reigning uh, competition. Put their two cents in and see how they scored it compared to a judge's perspective. Giving them an opportunity to maneuver by maneuver, offer up their score. I know personally and at my barn we like to get feedback from the judges. And then over the course of time refine exactly uh, what it is that's made the difference between their scores so that eventually they'll probably end up very knowledgeable and able to score a reigning run itself. I think the Americans are really going to love it. I would say absolutely. Um, obviously it's something that's become very popular. I don't know what the numbers are uh, here in Tryon. But we've definitely seen participation. Uh, people continue asking about where they get the app. Every once in a while we'll show the display up on the, the big screen so that they know how to get involved. And um, obviously people are interested. So based on what I've seen so far, I can't imagine that it won't be an extremely popular uh, app for, you know, obviously more than just the World Games, but many other ratings here in the U.S.